Hey Sarah, how's it going? Thanks for the retweets. <coughs> yeah, it's going. Good to know. Yep, yeah, I'm doing okay. Uh, had a doctor's appointment first thing this morning, so ironically, despite having the day off, I'm kind of sleepy. But <coughs> I should be all set for D&D later. And even though I sli uh, started slightly late, it's time for some Phoenix Wright goodness. Hey RP, how'd the stream go yesterday? <coughs> really well, good to hear. Oh, do you wanna give yourself a shout out? The uh, markup's just estimation mark SO and your handle. <coughs> or if not, I'll just give you one in a sec. Oh, there you go. I think it was Sonic you were, well I saw you streaming uh, Sonic yesterday, and did you get to Sonic, I can't remember what it was, the one that lets you design your own OC? <coughs> Sonic Adventure 2, that was it. Thanks for the hydrate, uh, Sarah. I'll uh, just do that when I uh, start proper. Okay, that's the uh, spamming sorted. You finish the stream by start by showing off a few cool games. Oh nice, hence the uh, games and demos. Hey Ping Fon, how's it going? Sorry for any noise you're hearing here. I'm having a bit of an argument with my uh, mark stand. Okay. So hopefully you can see me. Don't know if you see can see, but I've got the uh, purple contacts in already for D and D later. And you're saying it's going okay, pink form? Excellent. And yes, Sarah, this is indeed me, a uh, bread shaped friend. But anyway, we're 15 minutes over time, so let's get this Phoenix Wright st party started. I apologise if uh, my cough occasionally while doing voices because my lungs are still a bit tickly. Not from the cold, you understand. I accidentally inhaled a pizza roll yesterday while I was streaming. Anywho, hopefully you can all see the um, game now. And 
to hear the music. I'm not comprised of oxygen, but bread. Well, you know, the uh, protein and the carbs just get broken down and constitute into me, so I am basically made of bread. <coughs> oh yeah, I completely forgot to link to it. Uh, but... Obviously I completed Luigi's match in yesterday evening, so if you want to jump on my um, Twitter, the uh, pinned comment, uh, well, the pinned tweet is actually um, to vote for my uh, next game to play. I think last I checked, <coughs> uh, Team Raider was leading by a small margin, which is appropriate because I'm just about done with my Lara cosplay. I've got the just about finished buckle here. I've just put a layer of varnish on it, and when that when that's dry, I'm just gonna put a bit of uh, burnt amber diluted over it just to age it a bit, make it look like it's uh, spent a great deal of time being uh, carried around the world. And obviously, I've got the wig to tie up. Which I'm still terrified of. And I've completely forgotten what voice I gave this lady. Do you know anything about this old crumpled up letter? Is that addressed to Iris? Yep, it clearly says to Iris on it. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. I'm playing as Edworth now, aren't I? I can't believe it. That girl doesn't have any secrets from me. Ah, so Sister Bikini didn't know anything about it. Hey Elemental, how's it going? See if Gumshoe has anything to say about that. Look, I'm just your everyday simple detective. Don't ask me such tough questions, okay? That's not something to be proud of, detective. You're okay, how am I? Yeah, I'm doing good. Had a doctor's appointment this morning. Didn't really come to much. They just want to do some blood tests again. Uh, kind of sleepy from it, but hey ho. I still have uh, one more day off tomorrow. Obviously it's D&D &D later, but for now we're doing some uh, Phoenix Wright. Oh, and my Lara cosplay is very nearly done. ARP, you learn to love Gumshoe so much more when you found out he's based off Columbo. Oh, is he? Our client's not there. Oh, he's... What if Columbo was really bad at his job? Oh, that's cute. Wait, but if he has uh, an actual Columbo parody, shouldn't he um, be talking about his family or something? <coughs> then again, I suppose it's kind of ambiguous if uh, Columbo actually has a wife. But I suppose if uh, Columbo was bad at his job and he acted the way he did, um, he would probably get treated a lot like her gumshoe, so it all makes sense. Elemental Argosh Doctors? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, this was the uh, doctor at the uh, Gender Identity Clinic, so they mostly just asked if I was doing okay after surgery, and uh, that was about that. I may well just get be uh, getting discharged. Okay, anything else around here? <coughs> I 
Nope. Oh, this poor girl. Where she could he where could she have gone? Well, we checked out her home and she's not there. And she's nowhere in the vicinity of the temple either. Which means there's only a few other possibilities as to where she could be. Uh do you think maybe she fell down the fell off the bridge and was carried downstream? Why do you have to be such a pessimist, detective? Uh. I was just trying to think like you, Mr. Edgeworth. Ironic. I became a pessimist only after I had the pleasure of working with you. She's a very important visitor, you know. An honoured acolyte. Honoured? How so? Fey name is synonymous with the Korean channeling technique. Therefore, she must be a spirit medium of great power indeed. Now you mention it. Hey, Elkia, how's it going? One year ago, there was a case that was about the master of the Korean channeling technique. Detective. I detest talk of supernatural drivel. I suppose now you'll say she has midichlorians. Oh, midichlorians? <laughs> so it gives you the creeps, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? That's not got, that's got nothing to do with it. Doing all right. How about me? Yep, doing good. Uh, I've already said, uh, but um, had a doctor's appointment this morning, so I was up in a as a decent hour for once. And I'm just streaming some Phoenix right before D and D later. And also. Um, I've just about finished the buckle for my uh, Lara Croft cosplay, so I can assemble the uh, gun belt. Hey, Yam, how's it going? Yep, fun times ahead. Plus, I've got one more day off tomorrow, so whatever I do um, this evening, I can uh, just sleep it off. I don't know if you can see, but I'm wearing my um, contacts. It's all my fault, me and my stupid back. Mr. Calise has been murdered, an important acolyte is trapped, and the little girl has been lost. Yep, all went well. I'm just gonna have some blood tests and I might actually even be discharged from the Indra Identity Clinic. You know, you really shouldn't be so negative. It creates bad karma. Quite right. I need to do more, some more training myself, I think. No reason for her to know about God, eh? Um, uh, about this here. Hmm. Let me see. Well, as you may know, in order to see reality for what it truly is, we strive to break our attachment to much of the transient material realm. I guess you could call me an immaterial girl. Alkia, why is the nun called Bikini? She doesn't really explain it in the universe either. Apparently she just chose the name because she liked it. I guess she just lives in an immaterial world, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? I mean, what's the point of joining a religious order if you don't, I guess? You said you went with Mayat into the training hall in the inner temple last night. Did you happen to see Iris while you were there? Of course I saw her. I told her to meet us after ringing the ten o'clock bell for lights out. So you're saying Iris came to the inner temple then? Of course she did. Iris has always been a good obedient girl. After that, I had Iris help Mystic Mayor begin her training. doesn't fit with Iris's story at all. She said she never went to the inner temple. But as they say, the plot thickens. Oh, how could such a terrible thing have happened? 
It's all, it's all, it's all my fault. Well, come on, lady. Uh, I don't think you need to take all the blame yourself. Quiet. What do you know, anyway? Ouch. You're scary. With that stupid five o'clock shadow and that stupid old coat of yours. It's too bad you weren't the one that disappeared. Wow. What, you have to take it all out on me? Her anger does seem a little manufactured. This is Mr. Kelly's apprentice, is it not? I think he might have a bit of a crush on me. Sweet boy, at any rate. Huh? Oh, I don't blame him. Sister Bikini understands the temptations of young men. Sure. But I'm afraid it wouldn't be proper to abuse my position. I am head nun, after all. But in return, I did allow him to draw a portrait of me. I pray it was a pose that maintained your modesty for everyone's sake. Okay, that's just default dialogue. This man. His face betrays a life of suffering and great weariness of the world. Yep, that's Edgeworth's boyfriend, all right. Um, sure. Oh, thanks for the hydrate, Elemental. But even so, I can't believe this guy actually jumped into the river. Rivers have lots of water. Yep. I'm mostly made of water, so I want, want to dry out. Think of all the fun things he might have enjoyed if he had just lived. Relentless, relentless spiritual training alone is no way to lead a complete life, huh? It sounds like she's got some major regrets she's dealing with. Hmm. Perhaps I should let Gumshoe explain the right situation to her for me. Uh, hey, don't look at me like that. Do your own dirty work, sir. Okay, nothing more here, I guess. Oh wait, there was another location there. <laughs> February the 8th, Hazakura Temple, Courtyard. And this is where the murder took place, sir. Other than removing the body, we left everything else untouched. Thanks, Detective. I'll just have a look around. It looks like the police are, are still investigating. Oh yeah, by the way, I thought I'd better ask just to be sure. Are you really going to defend that nun, Iris, at the trial tomorrow? Yes, I will. I gave her my word, and I must follow through with my commitment. Well, in that case, I've got to be careful. Got to make sure I don't leak the prosecution's whole investigation. Don't worry about it, Detective. Just keep your mouth closed, and I think most of it will flow out on its own. You got it, sir. I'll make sure it flows out like water from a tap. Y yes, you do that, detective. Just how much has your runny spout leaked over the years? <laughs> oh, Gumshoe. We do love you so. It's a lantern. I suppose they light it at night. There's something elegant about the light of a fire. At the end of each month, I always like to relax in the room, my room by candlelight. Hello, Spaceberry. How's it going? Welcome to the uh, first time chatting, nurse. Detective, can you not afford to pay your electricity bill? You're waiting for your pizza delivery. Nice. I ordered a pizza while I was streaming myself yesterday. Obviously it's arrived, but it has arrived and been eaten. Oh yeah, you were in my stream yesterday. I remember you followed. Oh 
Well, the luck was appreciated. Welcome to the chat. How do you know? Uh, I just love skiing. Really? You don't seem like the type. Well, what about sleds? Sleds? Nah. They're, they're a little too kiddy, you know. Messes with my hard-boiled image. What's with the silence, Mr. Edgeworth? I... Is the world starting to go mad? The main gate must be just over that stone wall. Ah, uh, stone walls. Uh, I jumped over a few of those in my time. Most of them are good memories, but not all. Detective, perhaps someone should introduce you to the co concept of paucity of words. So, the sword from this gold statue is actually the murder weapon. <coughs> it sure is. It's called the Shichi Shito, by the way, sir. Na nasty piece of work, sir. There's still blood on it. I suppose this is the victim's blood. Yup. It's all over the blade. And speaking of all over the blade, there are fingerprints all over the hilt of the Shishito, too. Fingerprints? Naturally, they match the prints we got from the younger nun, the defendant. Her fingerprints are on the murder weapon. What's wrong? You look, you're looking really solemn. Is this how it is for right? Is this what it's like to be a defense attorney? Yeah, I think it doesn't feel really good. To be honest, it feels more like it's detrimental to your health. <coughs> she cheese Shito added to the court record. The apparent murder weapon has the victim's blood and the suspect's fingerprints on it. How's everyone's weekend looking anyway? The main hall of Hazakura Temple is above us here. Hey, you're right. But I'm pretty sure the main hall doesn't have a second floor. Hazakura Temple was built on a steep part of the mountain. The front and back of the main hall are on different levels. Oh, that makes sense. But wouldn't it be easier just to build the place slanted, sir? I fail to see how you can consider that to even be an even remotely good idea. Kia, nothing out of the ordinary for you. Kind of a boring prospect at any rate. Well, sometimes uh, weekends just made for chilling. Elemental, you need to head out. Have a good day. Oh, thanks for dropping by. I uh, hope you have a lovely uh, day. Well, a lovely whatever it is in your time zone. The victim is the famous picture book author, Miss Elise Donim. Her entire past, up until she won that writing award last year, is a total mystery. It's hard to believe in this day and age you can still find people like that. The estimated time of death of the victim was between 10 and 11 p.m. on February the 7th. The cause of death was blood loss resulting from a stab to the back by the murder weapon. The murder weapon? was found secured on that with that giant sword, sir. Th that's terrible. Yeah, but there's one strange thing. Yes? The victim's entire body was covered with bruises. The bruises are consistent with falling from the height of a two-story building. A two-story building? That would be about the same height as the room in front of us, correct? Hey, you're right. Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth. That just happens to be the room that Miss Elise Dunham was staying in. Maybe she was pushed out of the window as she was stabbed by the sword. Ah, oh, the flashback actually showed um, her getting stabbed in the courtyard, though. 
At least there's autopsy report added to the court record. Time, 10 to 11 p.m. Cause, loss of blood from a stab in the back. Body fell 10 feet after death. Ooh, nasty. That's what, 2d6 bludgeoning damage? Yeah, or maybe she was pushed off the uh, window, she died, and then someone stabbed her to cover their tracks. Yeah, that sounds very ace attorney. Or maybe she got stabbed when she fell. Oh yeah, because the uh, sword was being held up right in the earlier case, when we saw that statue. Now then, detective, let's see if we can summarise what we've learned so far. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Uh, according to the testimony of Sister Bikini, the head nun, right after they finished dinner, she and Mayor Faye headed to the inner temple. Off they go. At 10pm, after ringing the bell for lights out, Arius went to the inner temple. There she also goes. When she got there, Bikini had to take her takeover while she went back to Hazakura Temple. After taking a hot back bath to soothe her back, Sister Bikini witnessed the murder in the courtyard. If you want more details, you should ask Bikini herself in the main hall. The inner temple, huh? I'd like some more information about that place. The trial begins tomorrow, but who's the prosecutor? I'm pretty sure it's that Godo guy, but nobody can get a hold of him. So they're looking for a replacement. What do you mean? It's really weird. All of a sudden, no one can reach him. Hmm. I wonder if the rumours are true. Maybe since Mr. Wright caused cold and won't be defending, he just lost interest. I intend to appear in court in the role of a defence attorney. However, I'd be quite unhappy if it came out that I'm actually a prosecutor. Yeah, I can see why. But I'm not the one you have to worry about. I think the real problem is going to be that judge. Yes, he certainly would remember my face, even after such a long absence. That's why I, That's why I requested there's another judge preside over the trial tomorrow. We've only ever met each other once. There's a good chance he won't remember me at all. Y yeah, but what about the prosecutor? Everyone in the prosecutor's office must know you. <coughs> Pardon me? Would it be a problem if someone there made a big stink, sir? There's no need to worry. I pulled a few strings and arranged for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Wow, Mr. Edgeworth. I had no idea you had such a powerful string to pull. Is this going to be Mr. Payne? this inner temple that Mayor was supposedly training at? Uh, according to Bikini, it's an old building they use for training the acolytes. Kia, yeah, this all sounds so suspect. Yep. He's basically doing someone else's job for him. It's on the other side of Dusky Bridge. The bridge that burnt down, huh? Is there anything else on the other side of that bridge besides the inner temple? Nope. Not a thing. Nothing. The other side is surrounded by cliffs on all sides. In a way, it's kind of like a little island out there. So, the only thing there is the inner temple. I uh, hear it's not the kind of place a person can survive in. Please be alright, Mia.
look, I'm just your everyday symbol detective. Okay, we're already read through this. This sword represents the multiple branches that life can take, all ending as one. Hmm, I never heard that one. You know what I think about sometimes? What kind of life would I have if I hadn't joined the homicide division? See in a bit, Kia. So you think about that kind of thing too, huh? Uh, of course I do. I think about it a lot. Me as a traffic cop. Me as a detention officer. Me as the blue bat. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I guess he doesn't have any plans to leave the force. I don't have anything else to do here, so... See if I can ask her about any of these then. this picture. Well, look at that. I look pretty S to the XE, don't you think? <coughs> uh, um, y yeah, absolutely. Up until recently, we've exploited, avoided exposure in such magazines, but this time we had our reasons. Is that so? For example, <laughs> well, why deny the world the sight of such a lovely face? Well, well, that's a demon warding hood. Acolytes are highly susceptible to possession by evil spirits, you know. That's why we always wear these for protection. Oh, I see. What are you waiting for? You won't get any protection just by holding it, you know. Is the uh, stream working okay, by the way? I've had a couple of um, warnings flash up. on already? No, I can't. I was just... <laughs> it was like it was made just for you at Mr. Edgeworth. What do you mean by that, detective? It looks absolutely marvellous. You've got to keep us on for a while. Is this, is this some sort of divine retribution? Well, 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 look what you found. 
that's the master of the Korean channeling technique. Mystic M Misty Fay. Oh, hey, Kiara, how's it going? Fay? Yeah, it's been nearly 20 years since Mystic Misty's disappearance. Uh, apparently, she intends to pass on her master title to her daughter. Who is this daughter? Well, I myself am part of a branch family of the Fae Clan, but even I'm not privy to that information concerning the main family. Kiara just woke up. How am I? Yeah, I'm good. Um, hope the end of your stream went well. I've basically um done all my uh morning stuff, taking a shower, got dressed for my stream, and I'm just uh, streaming but Phoenix right before um D D this evening. Oh yeah, it all went well. I was gonna go out and do some grocery shopping, but I decided I might as well just do that tomorrow. Th that's that's one of the Fae Clan's very own Magatamas. That's a priceless treasure you've got there. Wow, I'm impressed, sir. You never fail to surprise me. Yes, you don't look it, but now I can see you're a real fan of the occult. Excuse me? Oh, yes, of course. This piece couldn't possibly be real. But to have such a nice replica... Clearly, you are a big fan of the Korean tradition. Wow. Wow. I'm impressed, sir. You never fail to surprise me. I should have known better than to show this thing around. Thing doing on your lapel, Mr. Edgeworth. Is it really that odd? You bet it is, sir. A uh, prosecutor wearing a defense attorney's badge. That's like a detective with a license to kill. Does this little thing hold that ominous of a meaning? Okay, anything else to examine? disappointed they didn't talk about this ladder being a step ladder. Oh wait, there's a thing. What's this? It looks like a wizard staff. That belonged to the victim, Miss Elise Donim. There's nothing strange or magical about it. Oh yeah, listen, this is just between us, okay sir? Yes, what? This is top secret stuff. Don't tell anyone about this. <coughs> All right. <coughs> the truth is, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a wizard. Ah. I mean, to be fair, wizards are always hiring. They need the staff. Yeah, I'm just gonna... <laughs> yeah, 
Yep, Kiara. All rise for the best sexed brioche stream national anthem. T-A-S-M-R. Now, <coughs> oh, really, Gumshoe. All the cool kids want to be rogues. That's it? That's what you wanted to tell me? That's it. This staff was made from a very strong kind of wood. What about fingerprints? Were there any on it? Just the victims. Victim staff added to the court record. Carried by Elise Donem when she was alive. Has her fingerprints on it. Alright, thank you for clarifying she didn't come back as a lich. already told you about this but the truth is when I, when I was a little kid oh welcome back here how's it going you wanted to become a wizard right hey that's amazing how do you know that so what do you think I'd make a really good great one don't you think we just had this conversation a little while ago, Detective. You had it like 10 seconds ago. You have food, you have noms here, so that's better than before. Yep, food improves everything. <coughs> okay, ask her about the staff. Okay, nothing. And see if there's anyone set the test. There we go. If event flag flagged. February the eighth, detention centre visitors room. Mr. Edgeworth. I, well, I came back because I need to ask you a few more questions if you don't mind. But I, I've already told you everything that I... Iris, please remember. I'm on your side. You can tell me anything. Y yes, th thank you. Just to remind you, she looks a lot like the uh, villain of uh, several previous cases. I just finished speaking with the head nun of Kazakura Temple. She testified very clearly as to what happened. She said that she saw you stab. Miss Elise Donem with a sword. And one other thing. She said that when Nefe began her training at the Inner Temple, you were there as well. Wh what? When I spoke of you last, you claimed that you never went to the Inner Temple. And yet, Sister Bikini said that she met with you at the Inner Temple that very night. But, but, I... I didn't go there. I didn't go to the Inner Temple last night. It looks like she's unwilling to tell me the whole truth. I wonder if I'll find the answers I'm looking for if I break those psycho logs. Okay, let's see if we've picked up the evidence we need to get through that then. frightened. Since I've been handed this case, it is my duty to take up all the answers. Understand? 
Yes, sir. The smallest flame can sometimes bathe a case in a whole new light. In my years in court, I've seen it happen over and over again. That's why I'm committed to searching until I have those answers. Now then, is it really true that you didn't go to the inner temple last night? Y yes I swear. I already told you that. Yes, you said you didn't go because you were frightened. Th that's right. If that's the case, then obvious the obvious question is, what were you so afraid of? Iris. Iris, I wonder. Is this what frightened you so much that you couldn't even leave your own room? Take that! I found this in the main hall. It is addressed to you. Uh, th that's... Well, Iris. Wh why? Why are you glaring at me like that? You were scared of the blackmailer who wrote this to you. Isn't that correct? Uh. Was it the evidence or the power of my glare that broke that lock? Oh well, I don't, I don't suppose that matters either way. But, but Mr. Edgeworth... Yes? I thought that the letter was just someone prank, playing a prank on me. A prank? Well, yes. After all... Even if I did have a secret, there's no one to tell it to that would cause me any grief. Kia, you're very confused about what's going on right now. Basically, one of the mechanics in this game is that if someone lies while you're holding the, um, Magatama Edgeworth's been given, you, uh, see it as, um, metaphorical locks appearing around them. Which leads to this little mini game where you have to show evidence to break them. Hmm, I wonder about that. Sister Bikini is like a mother to me. I would never hide anything from her. No, you may not have anything to hide under normal circumstances. However, last night was different. Unfortunately, I don't know the exact nature of your secret yet. However, whatever it is, there is one person you didn't want your secret told to. Pixel, you just keep lying. Lock up a loser. Can't tell the court your magic so stone says I'm lying. <laughs> How's it going, Pixel? Uh, yep, for those who aren't aware, Pixel's going to be joining the, um, d, d game later as, I believe, an owl in... Completely forgotten the name of the class. Oh, yep, an owl in Artificer. one person you didn't want your secret told to. Phoenix Wright. Take that! Phoenix Wright. Thank God, the way Nick was pronouncing it, you thought it was what wrong. You thought you were wrong. About what? I'll be honest, I don't know how, if I'm pronouncing Owlin or Artificer wrongly. <laughs> you mean something to me, right, it seems. And I can tell he holds a special place in your heart as well. That's why you didn't want him, of all people, to know your deep, dark secret. He says, Arty Pfizer. Wait, what did I say then? I just say Artificer like everyone. Well, what do you have to say? I should have expected as much. Especially from a friend of his.
Unlock successful. We have interrogated her. After dinner, this letter was waiting for me in my room. As I said, I was frightened by it. What is this heavenly hall in the, the letter mentioned? It's a small mountain shack at the base of Dusty, Dusky Bridge. A small shack, huh? Yeah, it's more like a broken down shack that no one would ever want to go near. Kiara, I'm streaming for two days in a row. This is nice. Yeah, normally I'd stream on Wednesdays, but I went to an escape room with friends on Wednesday, which I think I've already told you about. So I moved my um, final uh, Luigi's Mansion stream to Thursday. To be honest, it's quite nice streaming on a Thursday. Pixel, is the stream getting buffers for anyone else, or is your internet being difficult? I have had a few um, errors flash up, so it might be on my end. Kia got some as well, and but Kiara's okay. Um, maybe it's uh, the one of Twitch's servers then. Oh well, I'm only streaming for another 25 minutes or so anyway. Hmm. Where is it on this map? Yeah, it's around here. To get there, you must follow a small path down from Dusky Bridge. The reality is, to get to the Inner Temple, I had no choice but to cross that bridge. But the thought that such a terrible criminal could be lurking at Heavenly Hall. I, I was so scared by the whole affair, I didn't even want to think about it. So this is the secret you locked away in your heart? Yes. It looks as though I may have to visit this heavenly hall now. Maybe I'll find some sign of our mystery blackmailer. In any case, you still claim to have never left your room that last night. Yes, that's exactly right. Iris's testimony added to the court record. Rang lights out bell at 10pm and was then in her room until the murder was discovered. The trial starts tomorrow. I promise you, I will win. I'm going to win so that you and Phoenix Wright can see each other again. But when I do, you must promise me that you'll tell him your secret. But it's pointless. Why do you say that? Because I may know who Phoenix Wright is, but he has no idea who I am. Is it going to turn out that um, she's just like the identical twin or evil clone of, um, or good clone of the um, villain then? I don't know. Kia. Yes, she could also just be a stalker. That's possible. Let's check this place out. February the 8th, Heavenly Hall. Oh no. He's here. And that's a creepy picture. What's going on here? February the 8th, Heavenly Hall. Whoa, not much of a view down here, huh? It's still better than the view from my apartment, though. Tss. Someone's here. Hide yourself, detective. Uh, why, why, why? Why does this happen? Always happen. God, it's Larry. Whenever I find a girl I like, they always run away. I even chased one of them to Japan. Next is going to be prison, I guess. Yes, Larry, stalking is a crime. You belong in prison. I'll steal that detective's wallet. That'll get me locked up for sure. <sighs> Damn it, Larry. 
Yep, Larry's a stalker. His stalker's all the way down. Pixel? Ah, uh, yes, Chase to Japan from California, obviously. Yep, to Japan where this isn't, from California where this is. Naturally. No, I can't do that to someone who looks like he's down on his luck. He's just talking to himself. Shh, be quiet and listen. Kiara belongs in prison along with people who think Jeremy Clarkson is innocent. <laughs> innocent of what specifically? I knew it. I shouldn't have done that. I blew it again. Done that? What did he do, I wonder? Hey, you. About what you just said. I got an objection. What the? Uh, edgy? You dirty rat. Glare. Gumshoe, you woof. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Before I knew it. Uh, shouting out objection. And a loud commanding voice too. I even pointed with my finger. Pointer finger. You've watched too many trials. I'm sorry. Okay, Larry. The jig is up. What have you got to say for yourself? Uh. Well, let's interrogate Larry. Oh, Jeremy Clarkson didn't do anything and should still be on Top Gear. Those types of people. Yes, it's not like he punched someone in the face and then tried to threaten him with his... tried to threaten his job. Nick. Oh, you say it, Artificer, because you prefer it that way and you're a sort of description it, descriptivist. Oh, yep. Yeah. Nick, whose last stream was still Dial Sam. And let's not forget. For anyone who wants to catch the D&D stream in about... An hour and... 20 minutes. Uh, it's going to be on Nick's channel there. But yep, we're get, I'm still going to be streaming another 20 minutes or so. I'll of course uh, be dressed slightly even more as a tiefling for that. Got my horns and everything. But anyway, let's continue um, interrogating Larry. What is this little shack anyway? Well, I just discovered it myself yesterday. And why were you down here in the first place? Uh, come on. I'm an artiste. I was looking for a good place to sketch. Pixel, you love his little music. I'm Larry Butts, as lame as can be, as can be. I'm Larry Butts, I need therapy. <laughs> this is a great little place. It's, um, artistic. <coughs> it's quiet, it's cold, it's got no power, and it looks like it's going to collapse. You know, like a career artist. Sounds a lot like my apartment there, pal. One thing's for sure. No one is likely to show up and disturb you here. Yep. Larry needs therapy. <coughs> so, can I get you something to drink? Some hot water, maybe? He is getting all buddy-buddy on us, sir. Listen to me, Edgy. You've got to do this. You've got to save Iris. Why is she so sure she's innocent? Because she's cute? Watch your mouth. Anyway, I made up my mind about it. I'm going to marry that girl. <sighs> um, Mr. Edgeworth is pretending he didn't hear you, so I'm going to ask for him. 
Have you already asked this girl to marry you? Nick, you uploaded the battle map to Albert Rodeo, and it was so big that Albert just assumed it was one quarter the size it actually is. <laughs> Kia, do you please stop? I assume that's aimed at uh, Larry Butts and not Nick. Okay, also, Mod didn't like that. Oh, yeah, sorry about that, by the way. I've cranked up a few notches. Nick, it would be valid either way. <laughs> now, really, Nick, you're happily married. That makes you a monogamous creep. No, no, not yet. But I can tell how she feels by the look in her eyes. Kiara cracks up a few notches. Future armor chef intensifies. She has got this. I really want this man to carry me over the threshold lug. Okay, Larry is going full at you. Kia, you hate this dude. Yeah, that's valid. He is technically the um, main. He is technically the original villain of this entire series. Just so, in case anyone wasn't aware, this guy's the recurring com comedy character, who is the childhood best friend of both Deadworth and Phoenix. <laughs> Precisely right, Pixel. Maybe she can fix me. I'm sure Nick would be surprised. He never imagined I could marry a, such a beautiful girl like that. Something tells me he'd be shocked indeed. And that's why I didn't want her to do anything dangerous. I mean, what am I going to do if she gets hurt? <coughs> Wasn't he kind of turning the line on Pearl too? Am I remembering that right? Uh. No, he's many things, but he isn't a pedo, thankfully. What is this guy trying to say? He lost me about a mile back. I think Gumshoe's the entire chat. If he really wants to know the answer to that, we're going to have to drag him down onto the witness stand. Hey, you're polite. How's it going? Oh, and Zero is reading. How's it going, Zero? Oh, thanks for the sh doing the shout outs, Kiara. Oh, hey, Al. Yep, I'm doing pretty good Epilite. And hello Raiders. For those who don't know me, I'm Bisected Brioche. Also Erin Brioche if you want to use her first name. King Prawn. Welcome to the chat by the way. Zero brought uh, on a BDSM nudist. Okay then. Oh yep, for those who don't know me, I'm Bisected Brioche. I'm a variety streamer. Apparently, because I stream more than one thing, I do um, let's plays of single player games, and on Fridays I stream Phoenix Rise and do lots of silly voices. Oh uh, yep, yeah. I'm actually nearly done with my Lara Croft cosplay. Got the belt buckle there, and in about an hour and a quarter, I'll be on a uh, Nick's um, YouTube channel playing a Tiefling Rogue, as one does. What are you playing anyway, Al? Uh, not Al. Uh, Zero. You're playing Shapes.io. Chill Manufacturing. Oh, Grim Worlds. Fair enough. 
had it go. I'm not sure, King Prom. I could have sworn I'd seen you be here before, so... Your Rimworld colony is technically surviving. Oh, surviving's good. Maybe Twitch randomly unfollowed. It has done that in the past. Oh, yeah. Oh, you just followed. Yeah, I've definitely seen you follow before. Oh, well. <sighs> Twitch is an enigma. Epilite, it's happened to you too. Fair enough. But yeah, uh, today is just going to be um, Phoenix Wright streams and D&D streams. But I'm hoping I can get the uh, Lara Croft cosplay finished tomorrow. Because I basically just need to assemble the belt and uh, style the wig. I've never styled a wig that long, but I think I've worked out what to do. Oh, hey, Nolas. Welcome. Precisely, Kiara. Let's hang up on it. Nolas, sup nerds? Are you talking to actual nerds or are you talking to those little crunchy candies? King Prawn, especially since they changed their whole API and broke all the extensions. Yep. Which is a very Twitch thing to do. Now you need to log in to use any extensions if they are updated to use the new API. <coughs> Such is life. Come to think of it, you still haven't answered any of my ha haven't answered my question. Where were you? What were you doing last night? Oh man, don't you have anything else to talk about? With that kind of attitude, you'll never be a ladies' man like me. <sighs> Larry, I have a boyfriend. No less. Nerd and geek may be technically distinct terms, but only just. This is true. Uh, uh, okay. Chill out with those scary eyes. I've got it. If you really want to know, last night... I saw something incredible. Something incredible. Kia kicks bus butts off a cliff. Also valid. <coughs> Pardon me. Wow, three locks. Yeah, yeah. But let's not talk about that now. Let's talk about the good old days. What do you say? Come on, I'll pour you a nice cup of hot water. Why hasn't he realised that I absolutely despise talking about the good old days, especially with him? Sub Geeks doesn't hit the same. This is true. I know I may not look like it, but I'm an artist. I refuse to look at anything that doesn't have a radiant or beautiful motif. He didn't even give it a glance. Machine Lord Zero, you like sup effers because it's one letter away from soup effers. <laughs> yep, also mod didn't like that. I think I mentioned a moment ago. I had to turn it up a few notches. Apparently those uh, hate raids are flaring up again. King Prawn. The word for geeks has been taken over by programmers since there's a programming forum called Geeks for Geeks. No less and Geek Squad. Kiara. What's up, geeksters? Al, Satisfactory has a build mode called Zoop. 
which sounds a lot like soup too. It does. I could actually use some soup right now. King Prawn, wait really? Why didn't those people just, just destroy their PC already? Why indeed? Why indeed? You are correct, Kia. Soup is indeed great. As a zero agrees. <laughs> Description. Magatama. Receive from right. Something about reading people's hearts. What's that a nonsense? No less. There's a site called Board Game Geek that you've read reviews from a couple of times. Al, you make an excellent bean soup. Oh no, don't eat bean. Use best mod. The night of the crime. Alright, now you're going to tell me what you really saw last night. Al, ah, not unless he consents anyway. Nick, enjoy your coffee, Al. Al, you effing hate coffee. Well, this is awkward. Whoa, you're really upset, aren't you, Edgy? Okay, I'll talk. Hmm? That was a bit too easy. Yeah, anyway, it was awesome. Never seen anything like it. As a permanently tired individual, Nick is taking this personally. Al, you don't like tea either. You're a terrible house guest. Zero, typing backwards saying, fair coffee tastes full. OFFS, I'm typing backwards again. Ah, oh, vile, you meant vile, zero. Al, you do enjoy your caffeine in the form of Pepsi Max, though. Only happens on Twitch. Fair enough. At around 10 o'clock last night, it started thundering. I'd been sleeping. I'm not sure for how long. Suddenly, zing, the one in front of me went white. Like I'd just been slapped in the face by my old girlfriend. Naomi. And then? And then? It was on fire. The bridge was on fire. Dusky Bridge caught on fire? Are you saying you saw it with your own eyes? No, less. you like cold mocha now. And then, but you have no interest in coffee or tea. Zero. As opposed to his new girlfriend, Naomi. Yeah, new uh, girlfriend, and but uh, is a fleeting state. Is that better? Oh, good. <sighs> to be honest, my USB port has been acting a bit weird. I think my laptop might need a restart.
Oh well. That's tomorrow problem. Uh, I was in my own room, by the main hall. Where else would I be? I'm sorry for the, um, lines that went by unvoiced. As usual, you're as transparent as an empty jelly jar. The problem, I suspect, lies there. There? What do you mean, the, there? It's impossible for you to see lightning strike on dusty, dusky bridge from your room. Okay, that'll just be the uh, map. Take that! This is a map of the area. Take a look around the vicinity of Hazakura Temple. What am I looking for? I think that should be fairly obvious. The main hall is surrounded by trees, and it's impossible to see the bridge from here. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? Well, how about it? How about what? Do you feel like talking now? About what? It looks like it won't be that easy after all. You leave me no choice. I have to move on to the next step. You weren't in your room at the temple, so then where were you? You, you don't know that I wasn't in my room? So where was Larry, and why was he there? If I read the situation up to ooh, this point correctly, the answer is fairly obvious. Very well then, let's test my theory. The place you witnessed the lightning striking Dusky Bridge was here. The place you saw the lightning strike from was naturally Heavenly Hall. Why would I be hanging out in this old shack? It's freezing cold, there's no electricity, and it could fall apart at any moment. Kia, why can't we just tie him up and hang him over the cliff? Yeah, to be honest, it's not really made clear why none of the characters have done that yet. <coughs> Larry, how do you know that, uh, know that anyway? How do you know that there's no electricity? After all, it's not that, that dark yet. Uh, uh, oh. In other words, you've just provided evidence to prove my theory. My theory that you've at least once in your life visited Heavenly Hall after sunset. I have to admit, I'm impressed, Edgy. You're in a totally different league from Nick. That's nice. Now tell me. What were you doing in this cold little shack last night? And that's what you might call a fair decor. I think you mean a fair decor. Could it be that you were waiting for someone? No, oh, no. Y you really are one scary guy, you know. I believe that last night you were waiting for this person to come meet you. Well, Larry, was it this person? You know what? You should save your finger pointing for the courtroom. Tch. It's no wonder people call you a workaholic. You work too hard. You should be like me. Well, I'd rather work too hard than hardly work like a loafaholic like you. In any case, I know you're waiting for someone. Yeah, but like I said, it's an affair de gueux. No, Larry, you mean an affair de coeur. At least I think you do. Could it be? Kia. Edgeworth is in a different league from his cursedness. Yes. It's a little known fact that um, Edgeworth is actually an amazing DM. Even better than Nick. No less, we could use Larry as a footstool or table to play Scrabble on and tie him up and beat him and throw him out of Babylon. How oddly specific. Oh, those are song lyrics. Take that! There's only one person you'd wait for in a horrible place like this, Larry. I told you before, don't call me Larry. The person you're waiting for was Iris. Oh, suddenly I feel a cold all over, Edgy. No doubt because of my chilly glare. 
So you think I got the hots for Sister Iris, huh? D do you have some sort of kind of evidence? You got something that proves I was waiting for her? Or are you just guessing? This is where I draw the line and end this ridiculous little game. Here's the evidence that proves you're waiting for Iris. Is it the letter? It must be the letter. Here's your evidence. You caught her to this spot with a pathetic blackmail letter. Uh, hey! G give that back! You're embarrassing me! What are you doing with that anyway? That's not important. I misjudge you, Larry. What do you mean? Taking advantage of a woman's frailty like that, you should be ashamed of yourself. Um, um. First of all, what's this at the top of the letter? It says, salutation here. Well, that's what it said in the book. Letter writing for dummies. You're not supposed to actually write that. That's where you're supposed to write, dear Iris. Wah, I'm so sorry. Wait, so how do you know that she had something blackmail worthy? Anyway, it's half six, so we'll um, interrogate him about his um, many, many crimes next week. So then, um, <coughs> yep, sorry, cliffhanger, ha cliffhanger, you won't know what happens unless you look it up. Oh, not now, Steam. Anyways, um, as I've said before, there's a uh, poll on my uh, Twitter for what I'm going to be streaming next, so if you want to check that, uh, well, I'll put a link to that in chat in a moment. No, it's a good thing you went on break earlier, you've mi or you'd have missed the stream entirely. Kiara, you can't use Twitter for Lent. Yep, yeah, I'll uh, just... Um, link directly to the um, poll in a minute. I really should have <coughs> whoops, set up a command for it, but I completely forgot. But yep, yeah, in uh, cosplay news, obviously, I'm just about finished on my Lara cosplay. In fact, I think the uh, Team Raider, our Team Raider anniversary for the Wii was uh, leading the poll last time I checked, so feel free to check that out. No less, have fun storming the college. Sorry you'll miss it. Your family's going to Chili's tonight. Ah yes, that American restaurant with the baby back ribs meme. Which I actually thought was an original uh, joke in uh, Austin Pass for many, many years. Until like three months ago. Firefox is being slow, are oh, because the system is being ridiculous, because of course it is.
Yep, damn Firefox indeed, Kiara. No, unless you didn't know it was Chili's, to be honest. You just happen to have a gift card for it. Fair enough. Anyway, as I'll uh, just grab that link. that there. Glad you enjoyed the stream, Jan. Kiara, do I need someone to raid? I'm going to look who's um who's already streaming, but yep, I, I'll take suggestions. No less, break's over. I'll have a good shift then. Thanks as always for dropping by. Oh, looks like Team Raider Anniversary is still in the lead, but only just. Super Metroid and Resident Evil Remake are only two votes behind, but Pikmin 2 is in last place. <coughs> Anywho, between two gays streaming Elden Ring, uh, Kiara suggesting Sierra runs. <coughs> okay, fair enough. That's a pretty cool name. So here we are raiding Sierra Runs. Oh, I hope to see everyone at D and D later. But if not, uh, have a lovely weekend, and I'll see you all on Monday for whatever I end up streaming. Loving that icon. Yep, uh, not much else to say, so uh, ready in three, two, one, and let's go. And if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>